3D results are available in the main bar in the results. And we have 3D deformations and 3D stresses available. We can also find them in the process wheel and the results. And then we choose for 3D deformations. In the property panel, we can set the type of load. For example, two load cases, combinations, classes. Let us choose the ULS combination. And then in the values, I can choose for the displacements or the rotations. And I will set the total displacement here. Then I can refresh. And I have a result in 3D representation. I can also ask for the wireframe representation, which will only show the result on the center line of the elements and which will allow you to have the results much faster in case that you work with bigger models. You can also ask the uh, results only on a certain type of element. So if we activate the 1D members and deactivate the 2D members, we will have it like this or vice versa for the 2D members. And there is an option to show the deformed structure as well, which gives us a better understanding in the behavior of the structure. We can ask as well for 3D stresses. The settings are similar in the property panel. I can set the combination to ULS. The types of variables can be set to basic magnitudes, for example, to have the stresses in the local directions of your elements, you can ask for the principal magnitudes, for example, to show the von Mises stresses, or you can ask for strains, plastic strains as well. Here I will just show the sigma stresses in the x direction. I can refresh. And here again, I have as well the op option to show only the 1D or the 2D member results. And I can also combine this 3D stress result with the deformed structure. In the extreme 1D results, I can choose to show it in the fibers. And to know which fiber corresponds with the result, you could go to the library of the cross sections. And there you can edit the cross section. And in the tab fibers, you can see the numbering of the fibers.